Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 52nd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we learn to send emails using Python, right? And uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I created an account on Gmail and uh, the username for that account is uh, python test user at gmail.com and the password for that account is uh, python is amazing and you know, I just created that account for the sake of this tutorial and uh, you know, we'll be using the uh, simple mail transfer protocol library module uh, which is known as SMTP LIB in Python uh, to make a connection with the Gmail SMTP server first and then we log in and then uh, we'll send an email, right? So the first thing that I have to do is import the module that we need and uh, to do that I'll type in import space name of the module which as I said is SMTP LIB and uh, I'll press the enter key and uh, you know the next thing that you'll have to do is create a server object and uh, you could call it anything I'm going to call mine server and I'll use the assignment operator and uh, the SMTP function that belongs to this module to create uh, this this object so I'll type in SMTP LIB dot SMTP in capital letters and uh, this function takes two arguments the first one is the server address which in our case will be SMTP dot gmail.com and the next argument is the port number with which you want the connection to be made so you know that for us is going to be 587 right and uh, I'll press the enter key and uh, on the next line I'll have to make a call to the start TLS method and you know this is important because you know we want to establish a secured connection so again I'll type in the server uh, object name and uh, then the dot operator and then start TLS and a set of empty parentheses. You know, this function doesn't take in any arguments. So you simply type in that and press the enter key. And uh, you know, it might take a couple of seconds for the connection to be established. And if you see something like this, then it means that, you know, the connection has been established and now you can log in using the login method. So I'll type in server, which is the uh, name of my server object and a dot and then login. And, uh, you know, within parentheses, I'll first type in my username, which is, as I said, Python test user at gmail.com and uh, then you have to type in your password and uh, you know the password that I set for this account is python is and uh, there's no space by the way between the words python is amazing and uh, you know I'll press the enter key and uh, you know if you see this message accepted then it means that you've successfully logged in and now you can use the send mail method you know uh, to send uh, mails to you know anyone and uh, I'll type in the name of my server object and a dot and send mail and uh, this function takes in three arguments the first one has to be the email account from which you, you are sending your email so you know this is the from address so that will be python test user at gmail.com and uh, the second argument is the to address the person to whom you are sending your email so you know I'll just send it to another account that I have on hotmail so mother.bhatia at hotmail.com and uh, next is your message so let's say I want to say uh, hello uh, uh, hello world you know something like that and uh, I'll simply press the enter key and you know it might take a few seconds for the message to be sent and if you see a pair of curly braces then it means that your message has been sent and I'll go to my web browser and uh, this is my inbox and I'll go to my sent mail and I'll refresh it and I just hope that the mail has been sent it takes some time you know uh, sometimes it it takes uh, some time and there we go we see that you know there is this item so the message has been sent zero minutes ago right and uh, it's really as simple as that to send emails in Python and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and uh, in case you have any doubts then you can put in your comments and uh, you know I'll uh, reply to as many as I can and uh, you know you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, thank you so much for watching this video.